It's week 10 of the National Football League, and we've got a duel in the Lone Star State. It's the reigning NFC champs and the Texans on Monday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. So, CD, you look at the Cowboys in this matchup, they've got to be thinking, hey, we've got a good chance to be successful here running the football. No doubt about that because that has to be their mindset. It should be their mindset. This is one of the better rushing offenses in the league, and they're squaring off against a team that's not at all strong on the other side of the ball. So this could be one where we see this offense try to pose their way through the trenches, and in fact, they should. up across the 25 and down at Good the 28. Work, boy, let's go. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come back and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. It'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. Three yards remain for second down. The give is to Elliott, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. So, C.D., you look at this offense and what they've been able to do. 8-0, perfect through the first two months of the year. Second half of the season still to come. We get that. But what kind of a percentage chance do you think that they have of running the table? I, mean, I think it's hard to say because history would tell us that the chances aren't good at all. We've seen a lot of good teams get to this point, and then they have that one bad week and takes them out of the running. I'm going to say 25%, and I feel like I'm being generous with that number. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, on, you're go. exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. First down, it's Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, they've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, his second touchdown on the season. The Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Now Greg 
drags Zerline on for the extra point. And Holloway clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes Deshaun Watson, ready to captain the ship here for this Houston offense. And he's exactly the man you want in control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure's about to get to him. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Looking for Cooks and it's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 28 yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7 zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Here's Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Let's go, let's go. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. From the 45 on second down, Prescott. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And he's going to get this down Let's to the 35 do yard line. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't get it. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game. But this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. Play action now, Prescott. He's got his pass catching tight end, that's Pitts. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Let's go! Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Now Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. 
This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over Let's the go. end line. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Watson now to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And possession will switch hands first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're at the halfway point of the season, Charles, 8-0. What a great start. Clearly a Super Bowl contender, if not the outright favorite, through two months to win the whole thing. Well, there aren't too many bad things. And that's caught inside the 35. Let's get that swagger, y'all. Let's Touchdown, get that swagger. Cowboys. Keep there. I like Michael that. Gallup, 78 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's Let's out of the back of the go. end zone for a touchback. And now out comes Houston. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. Sign up. Go. Watson. Out to the right. He's got the tight end wearing. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before right, being corralled. Get right, get right. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there, maybe okay, we can get them that. focused and moving in the right direction. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. To throw is Watson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game. That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, it comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up the first down. From the 50, it's Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. 
So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. Right, that timing usually develops. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Watson looks to throw again. Completes it out left to Waring. And they'll get this down to the 10. Let's go, boys! Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Here's Watson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? You got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put here some big go. points here on we the go. board. Here we go. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. And as we look at his highlights, you know, sometimes I've asked you schematically, how do you stop one player? Well, how do you stop a tight end like this without opening up other holes, partner? You show your basic defenses, whether you're playing the three-deep zone, the two-deep zone, but you have your variations underneath it. So sometimes what you, instead of the safety staying deep, the safety will drop down. The sky coverage, they call that. Sometimes the corner's responsible. You get a little, what they call a cloud, someone coming underneath. Sometimes the linebacker shows the ability to rush the passer and instead drops down and tries to get underneath the tight end as he tries to run routes. So many different things you can do from basic sets. Trying to prevent those highlights we saw. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's got this down to the 35. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Prescott. And his throw's going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been go, if he had baby. simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 
Seven. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. Oh, yeah. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple. He had a second down. Yeah, Any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Watson's throw taken in by Collins. And he'll be taken down, but not Let's before he works it go. past the 50. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Watson, off play action. Incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw on second and 10, Watson. He'll complete this one to Collins. Nine yards, not quite That's enough, it. and they'll be left now with third and one. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here we go. Here we go. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Focus, defense, focus. Watson to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Prescott, flush to his right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Prescott. Got this complete to the tight end Pitts. And he'll be out Let's just a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now here's Pollard, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Baby, good job, good job, bro. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are able to add on to their first half lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. Keep playing on. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy. 
because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have a and got his man complete. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 83 yards. And the Texans get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Prater for the extra point, and the lead now down to 20. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. A first down throw for Prescott. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that's caught inside the 34. Touchdown. Amari Cooper. 77 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Boy, the action just coming fast and furious right now. If you got up to go get a drink from the fridge, you picked the wrong time. Two long touchdowns. Yeah, and that's how you answer a one-play drive with a one-play drive of your own. And you're exactly right. If you step away from the action, my dad took me to a Major League Baseball game when I was eight. I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, Grand Slam home run. Well, it tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad still hasn't forgiven me. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. On first and ten, Watson. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. To throw again on second down, Watson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out right at the 35. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. To the air yet again, Watson. Over the middle complete, it's Jordan. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 42. Let's go! And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play on, in the Let's second go. quarter. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here is Matt Prater now. He's got the leg for this as he holds the NFL record with a 64-yarder back in 2013. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Pollard to return from the end zone. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis, where you see the final score there. Marlon Mack, a touchdown run in the victory. From there, we head over to the West Coast. Check out the Niners at home at Levi Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Trey Lance 
leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore. Check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. Lamar Jackson leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And a big part of their success on the scoreboard is their success in the running game. Over 100 yards as a team in those first two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Texans, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. These two clubs running through their final halftime adjustments. It's just about time to get back at it. But for the call of the second half, we go back out to Houston, H-Town, and Brandon Gaughan. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And, that, and the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. I got my he couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. After the sack on first down, Watson, and it's incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works, and that incompletion, set up another passing down here on third and long. And now a shot taken on third down, and it's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And this will be touchdown inside the 20. They'll spot on, it at the 18-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was very yeah. easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Flushed out right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Again to Elliott. Muscles him off. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 101 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Prescott now from the 50. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. On second and ten, Prescott. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. To throw is Prescott. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing. Prescott. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. 
third down coming up. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect, and that a touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott, and the Cowboys add on. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And they will not get a chance to return on, this one ready? as it's Let's through the go. end zone for a touchback. Houston set to take over. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions and coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Watson's throw into the hands of Cobb. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He gets his first catch there, but all in all, when you're talking about the number one receiver in the NFL coming into this game, and we're just talking about the first catch there, I think they're doing a nice job of bottling him up. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. On second down, Noble. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same Let's case go. on that Let's play. Go. Let's go. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Uh, here's a throw right side, taken in by his tight end. Three yards the game there, second down. Now again, right side, Noble. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Now Watson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cooks with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Texans get a bit closer. Extra point good by Prater, and that'll cut the lead down now to 22. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Now Pollard. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down and eight. Here's Prescott. He's got his pass catching tight end, that's Pitts. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. That catch good for five, it's third down. Now Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Forty-one's coming. Forty-one to Mike. 
First down, Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And he'll be down at the 46. Here, so he'll go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. On first and 10, Prescott. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the corner, oh, Bradley Ruby. Ruby. And the Texans are gonna take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. After the interception, here's Watson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and 10 coming up. Watson now to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And that's complete to Cooks. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. That one flipped down here. That pass knocked away and incomplete. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, Check 26, with this deficit, did they give up another score here after they didn't get it? Does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. How's that, bro? Amari Cooper. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point, hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs Let's him go, about boy, five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Now it's Watson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, 
They don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Boom. That's how to we Marcus do Lawrence. What a season he continues to have, his 15th sack of the campaign. He's the NFL sack leader coming into the game. And now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. To try again after the sack. Watson throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cobb. Three yeah, yards in the completion, but now they face third down. Here's Watson. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he is going to have a Let's Texans go, first Let's down go. as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. It's our time. It's our time. Back to throw, Watson. And that is incomplete. Now the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. This is caught. It's Cooks. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Again, it's Watson. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 for the 21. To throw again on second down. Watson looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And the Cowboys will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation points, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Man, this is going to be a Cowboys first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Check three, check three, check three. Check the backer, check the backer. Elliot, bust through the tackle. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy this. of the 30. 131 yards rushing for him so far in this one as he nears 1,500 for the year. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Another carry tonight for the workhorse alley. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. They'll try and run with their fullback. He spins free. He's still barreling through. <laughs> and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. It's the fullback with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Cowboys are on their way to a 9-0 start as they build on to their lead. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. 
<laughs> this part of the game's been an adventure thus far, but this one is good. A drive there of just four plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision Let's to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Me and you all day, all day. I'm coming after you. Back to the air, Watson on second down. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they finally get Let's him go, down, go. but not before he reaches the 34. A huge play there for Houston. On first down, it's Watson. That's complete, and once again, it's Kyle. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. They'll run on first down. Noble. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Let's go, baby! So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From the 17, Watson. And that's off the mark, incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And that is caught. Well, they're gonna see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Now Prater to add the PAT. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. That time, a six-play drive. And the result, a Houston touchdown. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. Again, it's Elliott. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Heavy set out there on third and one. That's what I'm talking about. Last hit. Hey, look three. Look three. Rush in. Rush in. Rush in. What Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Check. What do you think? A 20th carry here for Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. We don't work. That carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs, clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. On first down, Elliott. And yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 
so for Dallas, the train just keeps rolling 9 and 0 now to start this campaign. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile for the Texans, they're going the wrong way as this will drop them to 3 and 7 now in the year. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. Thank you. 